Hey, welcome to Food Truck Crazy. Today we're going to be looking at doing some maintenance on some generators. Um, these things are required to give us power, so we're able to uh, keep our food trucks up and running, and it's important that we look after them so that they're in tip-top condition. We're going to be doing both some oil changes, looking at the air filters, and making sure that they're clean. And I'll walk you through the steps, and uh, if you wait for 20 seconds, we'll jump right to it. Today we're going to look at the Honda 3000i, or also known as a handy generator. Uh, this generator will put out about 3000 watts, it's uh, lightweight, and we're going to be looking at doing an oil change, as well as we're going to be looking at doing an air filter change. The tools that you're going to need is obviously the oil. Um, I've got a measuring container because it allows me to measure out the exact amount of oil that I need to make the change so that I'm not making a mess and spilling it out all over the place. Uh, a funnel will make it easier some sort of a, a tray or a pan to drain your oil into. Um, after you're finished uh, changing, you wanna make sure that you put it into a proper container for proper disposal. I've also gone ahead and uh, printed off uh, the oil viscosity rating that I should be using, as well as uh, the amount of oil that is used to go inside of the actual generator itself. So that's why I've uh, grabbed this to allow me to uh, pour in the exact amount of oil required. Okay, we're going to change the oil in the uh, Honda EU3000i, they call it the handy generator. It's the uh, lightweight model. I'm going to put it 3000 watts. The hardest part about uh, changing this oil really is putting it up on the blocks. Um, your oil fill is on the side here, just by removing the front cover. And then underneath um, is where your oil drain is and you need to use a 10 millimeter uh, socket to unscrew that. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna place this up on the blocks for now. I had let it run for about 10 minutes so the oil would warm up a little bit. Underneath you can't see it, but there's a little, a little cover on top. It's covering the oil plug underneath you need to pull off. I'm going to use a little tray underneath. You need to use a 10 millimeter socket and uh, pull it out. Okay, the change frequency on this after its initial uh, setup is every 100 hours, in mid, or every three months. I generally do it every 100 hours or the beginning of the season. Here's your oil plug that should be washer on there as well. Just gonna do this to allow it to drain better. So I am going to measure the amount of oil I'm going to put in there so I'm a little less likely to make a mess. Um, I want to put in approximately five, about 500, 550 milliliters. Uh, for my American friends that's about uh, 14, 16 ounces. I am using 10W30 as, as per the manual. Just a little under 600. As you notice, I did put down some cardboard as there's a, there is a potential to make a little bit of a mess. Making sure that the washer's still on there. Being that it's aluminum, you only want to do it snug. Don't want to strip it out. 
Now this isn't necessary, but I do have a, a, a little filler extension that I did purchase. What you do is it just screws in there. And I'm gonna use a funnel. right in the middle of the dipstick. You screw it in, you want to be careful, make sure not to cross thread it. It doesn't want to go back and open try it again. Let's give it a start. We want to take a look at the air filter and clean it out. Make sure you pull this out, don't forget about it. You can also check your oil, make sure that it's uh, there's no metal filings or anything inside of there. There really shouldn't be. Okay, the air filter is located in the back. Here to the air filter, there's two of them, there's a coarse filter. on course one. Here's your course filter. Here's your other filter. Let's take a quick look to make sure that I am getting no uh, dust or anything past, especially the through the flying filter. To clean these you just use uh, warm soapy water. You don't want to twist them because you're likely to rip, rip them if you do. So I'm massage, just massaging soapy water through here. You do want to check to see if there's any rips or any tears in the actual filter itself. Now the most, most important thing is when you uh, put oil back into here is you put enough to help with uh, filtering out all the, the dust and sand and everything that may come through, but you don't want to drench it because if you drench it, you're going to have uh, problems with getting enough uh, oxygen to the engine also be pulling the oil uh, in through there. And so the easiest way to do that is uh, using a, a Ziploc baggie. And so what I do for that, So I'll take my filters. Maybe a cap full of oil or less. And just squish it around. Helps to get the oil mixed through it evenly. Scoop a towel. For the, for the excess. It's all clean. Make sure you line it lined up the right way. You don't want to squish it in there. You just want to make sure that it's in there nicely. 
the coarse filter, you notice there's a little bit, little excess in there. Slide it back in. Put your cover back on. for the upcoming season.